So this particular movie, uh, I'm not sure what type of film it is. It doesn't really uh, explain. It sounds to me like it's a drama. The reason that I was interested in it was because I saw that Benedict Cumberbatch is in it. And Matthew McConaughey, I mean, he, he's okay. I like him all right. He's not someone that's like, oh, I, I want to check out what they're in. You know, I mean, that's Benedict does that for me and some other, other actors too. Um, so I did have this in my, my to watch list and then someone suggested it to me. I think it was last night. As of the recording of this video, it was last night. They, they brought this up and by that point, I had, <laughs> I had found out that Brie Larson is in it not a Larson fan at all, at all, in no way, shape, or form, period. Just not. In fact, I would generally want to actively avoid a movie that she's in um, if I can. I couldn't avoid Avengers Endgame. I did go to see Captain Marvel only because I felt like it was sort of important for the continuity of the whole MCU, and I... Uh, really didn't have to go see it, I discovered, and I did not like that movie at all. Uh, so she's just a real turnoff for me for a number of reasons. But I decided I would go ahead and just check the trailer out anyway, just to see what it's about because I'm a little curious now. I'm, I'm curious to find out if my supposition about it is correct or not. So let us do that now. Welcome to another edition of Between Two Ferns, and my oh, guest Zach today Galifianakis. is Matthew McConaughey. Good to be here, Zach. Of all the things you can win an Oscar for, how surprised are you that you won one for acting? Here we go. I noticed that you're wearing a shirt. Is everything okay? And you have a major Is this in. like... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's see what's going on. Oh, dude, don't do that. Oh, <laughs> made me jump. <laughs> oh no. You killed Matthew McConaughey. Oh. He's dead? He's brought back to life, but he was momentarily dead. You owe me. Go across the country. Get ten more episodes of Between Two Ferns. Ten of your dumb internet talk show, and you give me a network talk show. I'm a white man, and I'm straight, and I deserve it. Green as ever. The Didn't he have like a talk show? I mean, I'm thinking this was like based We're on a true sort of thing. Peter Dinklage, aww. My guest today is Benedict Cumberbatch. But Benedict Kemp Benefit Lumberjack. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. That's it's not it that is. hard, yo. <laughs> I read online that you're very private and declined to answer questions that make you feel uncomfortable. Is that like a personal is attack or something? How old were you when you got your first period? Um. Bradley Cooper co-wrote, directed, and starred in A Star is Born. I hear it's great. Are you hoping that will open doors for other hot idiots? Uh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get these shows out. We don't have any money. We're hungry. We're going to order the clam strips. How big are they? Have you ever seen a chicken strip? I've never seen a chicken wear clothes. Here's to the crazy ones. The misfits. Oh, jeez. I'm just curious about the pathology behind this. Some people would say we're the crazy ones. But I think we're genius. Hello. I love your show. What if we take this upstairs? I'm not trying much. He's probably at home polishing his egot. Is that what he calls his penis? <laughs> Between two ferns, the movie. Is this going to be in, is it going to be in theaters? Not in theaters. Not in theaters. Aw, <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> okay. I am glad I watched this, you guys. I really am. And while I am not uh, someone who is inclined toward comedy, uh, like I said, just for comedy's sake, real life situational comedy uh, is, is more appealing to me. So like, Liar Liar, I liked quite a bit because it seemed very true to life some of the comedic situations he he got himself in whereas a movie like dumb and dumber i absolutely cannot stand i hated that movie i still hate that movie it's one of my husband's favorites 
we do not have, a, have an agreement on that movie. I, I don't like Ace Ventura. To me, that is stupid comedy. That's dumb comedy. I like comedy that feels more natural or organic or real. Like this feels that way to me. Um, so I will be watching this. Uh, I like Zach Galifianakis. I have liked him for quite a while. I think the very first thing I um, paid attention to him as an actor on was called um, True Calling. And it was a show from the early 2000s. Like I think it came out in 2000 or 2001, something like that. And it was about this girl. It had Eliza, Eliza Dushku, if I'm saying her name right. She worked in a morgue, and if she would touch a dead person, and she could see, no, something happened. Like she, I think I can't remember. If she got flashes of what killed them, or their past, or something. And then she would, her day would be reset back to before that person died, and she would try to save the person from death. Like that was her calling to do that. And Zach played the guy who worked in the morgue with her. And he was hilarious in there. I mean, he was so funny. And so I've never forgotten him since then. So he's, he's funny to me. And this looks like it's, it's going to be pretty good. Now, I thought there was a show called Between Two Ferns, an actual talk show that he had. So I, I don't know how wrong I am on that. Um... Maybe I'll do some research after I, after I finish with this video to find out. So this looks like it's a sort of a kind of an, an extension of that. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it looks pretty good. The trailer uh, was a bit on the long side. Uh, I could tell that it felt like it was a bit on the long side. But this was one of those types where even though it was long, uh, I, I was thoroughly entertained and I felt like um, it was constructed in such a way that the progression or the, the sequence of events they showed or the scenes they showed felt logical that they did it that way. So this was not one of the ones where I was like, get on with it, you're showing too much, you shouldn't. I mean, in this case, we have a very good idea what the movie's about. They did not show us every single thing that happened so that you can you know, accurately predict what's going to go down, like in one of that, one of those other trailers I saw, which is still the worst one I've ever seen in that regard. I think it was called Hiding in Plain Sight or Hidden in Plain Sight. That was terrible. What they did, I can still cannot believe that. Anyway, this was not one of those situations. So, yes, and uh, this is a to watch for me, for sure, and whenever I have watched it, um, whenever comes around September 20th looks so just a couple a few weeks away I'll come back here and um, post about it maybe we can chat about it if you guys have also had a chance to see it so okay well that's it for this one and I'm glad I checked this out later guys bye <music>